And right now it's time to talk all things bright and beautiful and big and small and hairy and smooth. We're talking all about spiders, the sight of which can send chills down anyone's spine. Now, environmental control officer and espresso eco expert Luke Bax is here to chat to us about more Rabu B. Rabu B. How are you doing, Luke? Good, thanks to yourself. Good, man. I've been getting sweaty palms. Just Can you, can you feel it? Yeah, no, there we go. Just, just talking about these spiders. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, so let, let's quickly just start off from having a look at the range of spiders that are out there in the world. When it comes to spiders, uh, what kinds of spiders are there? And what are their behaviors specifically? Yeah, so well, in South Africa in general, we've got 3,000 species of spi spiders. And just mm. to put your mind at ease, there's only five that are, are dangerous. Out of 3,000, that's out okay. Out of 3,000. So you've got, you've got quite a good chance of not getting bitten by something dangerous. Yeah. But as spiders go in general, we've got you, there's a big variation from web building spiders, which can be broken down into different categories. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your spiders that rely on ambush predators. Oh, there we go, nice web in the mor morning with a nice sunji on it. Mm -hmm. But you've got spiders that are ambush predators, which will hide under rocks and wait for the prey to come to them. Yeah. And then you've got active hunting spiders, such as your wolf spider, that will actually go out and look for their prey and run, run it down. Yeah. Now, during the ad break, you educated me quite nicely that saying spies, spiders are not poisonous, they're venomous, because poison is ingested, but venom is injected. So, yeah. how venomous do spiders get in terms of like from a scale of being bitten and then it's like a little edge to you're dead kind of thing? <laughs> so, I mean, out of the world's population, there are 45,000 species of spider. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got. Oh. <laughs> You've got your 45,000 species of which 30 are venomous. So that's one tenth of 1% of venomous spiders. Um, spider bites in South Africa will range, like you said, from, well, not even, you're not even having, a, having any form of scratch or anything. Yes. So you're having, you, they can put you in hospital do, due to your reaction to that specific, particular bite. Yes. So sometimes, you, I mean, I've been bitten by a spider before. I ended up with a nice, about a two rand coin size welt on my hand. That's always nice. <laughs> where the skin kind of just went away. But besides that, they're not, you've got a very, very slim chance of dying from a yeah. spider bite in South Africa. That's good news. And listen, we want to engage with you also at home. So do give us a call on 083-9133-728 if you've got any questions about spiders. Maybe you have a spider problem at home and you'd like some advice on how to handle it. Um, so can you tell whether a spider is venomous or not? And how can you tell? Unfortunately, due to their size, you can't tell straight away. You have to look under a microscope just to see that their, their venom glands, because unlike a snake, their venom glands aren't very big, I mean, spiders aren't very big. Yeah. But um, in general, also the colors don't really tell the story. I mean, you, like you said, with frogs, you can't tell which ones are bad and which are the good. Yeah. Because color does not give an indication. That looks dangerously poisonous, like it's gonna inject some green lantern stuff <laughs> in you. <laughs> that is actually a jumping spider. I mean, they're pretty- And it jumps as well. It's probably only about the size of your fingernail, your pinky fingernail. Okay. It's, maybe it's, a little bit, maybe even smaller. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cute. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I won't deny that it is. So wait, tell us, what, what should you do first if you're at home and you see a spider uh, in the first instance? And if you get bitten, what should you do? Let's talk first, when you see a spider, what should your reaction be? Leave it alone. I mean, the spiders are doing a great job in your house. I mean, you, if you lose the spiders, you, all your, your insects start to come in. So I mean, in my household, my parents used to kill the spiders before I started chatting with them. Yeah. yeah. And then suddenly, the, the number of flies you get during summer lessons, the number of mosquitoes you get at night is a little bit less. In my room, I've got about five or six spiders that live in my room. Just like in jail, casual, like they're your buddies. Yeah, they're there. That's, wow. their, that's their space as well. I mean, they catch all the mosquitoes and everything, so I don't really have to worry about that. Yeah. But um, yeah, if you are scared of spiders, you can collect them in a, in a uh, plastic container yeah. and safely release them outside again. Okay. I mean, they've just got just as much right to be there. And if you get bitten, what should you do? So if you get bitten and do have a bad reaction, the best thing to do would be go to a hospital and then they would put you on antibiotics. A friend of mine has actually just been bitten now and he's on a cycle of antibiotics. It's just in case. Yeah. I mean, you can just wait it out, but you, yeah, you do end up with like a little bit of a bite like that. Yeah. And it's just in case, go get on antibiotics and prevent further infection. Yeah, like you said, for the most part, uh, they are uh, harmless and not venomous. So yeah. we are pretty much okay. So shout out to all the spiders out there keeping the insect count on the lowdown. Now, if you're experiencing a problem with spiders that you need Luke's help with, then uh, simply give us a call on 083-913-3728 or even drop us a comment on our Facebook page or our Twitter page and we'll take on your questions very soon. But there's still lots more to come on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning.